My sweepers. It is time. Now is the time for you to produce the three items that we talked about. Hello, sweet. I don't think I've met you before. Good. You first. Good. Good. You've got two. Ah, you've got three. There you are. Mm. And your beautiful broom. Angelina Jolie, right? <laughs> Good. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to send you to the secret location. Are you ready? I'm going to make sure everyone produces the right items and then we will join you. Jester should be there warming up the room, all right? Good. Oh, this is very exciting. <laughs> Our very first meeting. Ready? Wave your arms, sweet. Wave them around. Good. And... And it what? I'm bad at teleporting, obviously. All right, let's try this again. Wave your arms. And... I need to get that out of here. All oh, right, it's in the coffee. Oh, hello there. Hello, dear sweeper. Say, I'm getting all this crop out of here before the meeting starts. Gotta have it nice, spick and span, you know. That's the ticket. Get out of here, you nasty crop. Looking pretty good in here. Well, we got those giant. Now, you keep your own broom. This is my Chester. That's all right. That. By the way, I don't think we've met yet. Not officially. Oh, I'm Jester. Nice to meet your friend. <laughs> well, where is everybody else? Did no one else know the secret items? So, they're they're getting initiated. No, they're salt. They're salt. Oh yeah, that's one of them. Oh, hello there. You were showing me the items they're making. Is that what you were doing? Oh, I see. I see. Hey there, friend. It's good to see ya. Well, where's your broom? You got to have your broom for the secret sweepers meet. There you go. Poor Chester was so lonely while I was away. Weren't you, buddy? But I'm here now, that's right. Alright, well, it's looking nice in here. I don't know. Say, you haven't seen any crawls in here today, have you? You keep... Oh, hey there, sweeper. Welcome. Alright, get your broom out, my friend. That's it. Oh, you brought it with. I see. I see. So you guys have that skill. You can teleport with your brooms. Poor Chester, I always have to leave him behind. Is that your pet? Oh, it, it rides your broom. It is your broom's pet. Your broom's stuffed down. Oh, I see. Oh, hello there. Buddy. Yeah, you, good job keeping this broom company. Room rights are very important. They do have souls, you know. That's right. All right. <laughs> are we all met, Mum? Yes, everyone who heard the call is here. Oh, we're missing someone. Didn't I send four of you down? Only three so far. Oh, I hope I didn't send... Wait, let, let me go check one more time. Otherwise, they're going to be very cross with me. Poor Bernie. She's like our... Well, she's wise as all get out, but she's also just an old lady. It's hilarious watching her teleport. 
So, yes, we have messed up a few times, haven't we, Chester? Yes, that's right. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, <laughs> darling, don't eat that. that. Put that, put that. Why did you do that? You know those are poison. Goodness sakes, am I going to have to play fetch, fetch all day? Mom, One would you like me to... Oh, well, all right. Why would you eat a piece of crock when you know there's a meat in? Gotta keep an eye on that one. That's not very good sleeping, honestly. <laughs> and you left behind its plushie. It's all right, you poor broom. Your owner's just a little bit, uh... Well, here, I'll keep you company while they're away. There we go. Yes, hang on to the plushie, that's it. Well, now focus this time. No, you can't take Chester. That's it, that's it. All right, everyone. Everyone has their brooms. Come on, Teddy. <laughs> Here we are. And thank you. I know some of you were there when we saved Jester from the giant crab poop. Thank you so much for your help. You are my saviors, and I appreciate it. That's right. <laughs> yes. Welcome, everyone, to the very first official union members meeting. Uh, we had to threaten the Crob King in order to be allowed here, but I think it's going to be all right and we will work together in the future to, to make sure we're all together. Now, first there are some meeting rules, as we've already had some hiccups. First, no zipping around, please. <laughs> no magic making unless instructed to do so. And very importantly, and I hope this doesn't offend any of you, no eating. You chew, or you all chew very loudly. I don't know if you're aware of this, but I can hear you sometimes clear across the desert. Eh, is this all clear? Right. Good. Now, if you, um, break any of these rules, <laughs> Bernice will give you a warning. And that warning is I will zap you straight out of here. Clear? Good. Now. <laughs> I am so excited to see all of you and to have you all together. Much has come up against the Union recently, so we have much to talk about. I know we've only met informally before, whether it's initiation through cleaning up piles of meat, or a good broom race, or sharing a cup of coffee up on the den and talking about under gossip. I know I love to spend time with you all, but now we need a mission plan. Yes. But first, why don't we join together here and bring our brooms in unison. Everyone form a circle. Good. Hold your darling brooms by the bums here. Start on the ground. Good. And as I say, our motto we will raise our brooms and triumph. Sweepers Union, we live to sweep. We sweep to love. We raise our brooms to the stars above. Yes! Oh. Well spoken, <laughs> Bernice. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesse. You're too kind. Good. Now, I need us to come up with and I have some ideas about union demands. We need to get this meeting organized for the, with the MC. We need a plan. We need a list of demands for the union that we can, we can come to the MC and that this is what we need. So, I wanted to take a poll and see if you wanted to vote on this. See, first I think, as employees of the under, we deserve raising minimum wage. What do you think? Yes. Did you know that we all, the sweepers, even the silent skeleton one, we get paid one onion a day. Did you know this? It's and then you all can make onions like it's like your Midas, right? You've got the golden dots. You can make money anytime, but we cannot. They are a difficult commodity. 
So I believe we deserve to have minimum wage raised to a bag of onions a day. What do you think about that? Good. I say here, here. Guess you'd like more onions, wouldn't you, Jitster? Well, of course, I, I, I don't have the magical dustbin, so I'd love one. Mm. Good, good, excellent. Now, next, I think we should, um, dental insurance. We've talked about this, right? It's very important to Bernice. I mean, look at my teeth. They're terrible. But oddly enough, if you've met the MC uh, during one of his, um, his side, uh, he takes you aside and gives you a special little show. He does that from time to time. He wants you to feel special, that he sees you and all that. He has mentioned that we are given dental insurance. But what he does not mention is that in the fine print, it only covers co wisdom teeth. Only covers wisdom teeth. And I don't know about you, but I had my removed when I was in high school. I look like a chipmunk, I swelled up. So, an actual dental plan that would cover all of the teeth, silly man, just trying to screw with us. <laughs> Do you have a suggestion, Jester? Oh, well, uh, I maybe have a couple. Um, some crop insurance would certainly be nice. <laughs> oh, that is very important after the ordeal you've just went through. I mean, I'm a little skittish. I might need to go to therapy about it. But some insurance would definitely take the edge off. Good. Insurance against crobs, because they eat everything. Destroy everything. All right. Would you, do you all agree with this one? Oh, snap, snap. Wonderful. Good. Snap, snap, yeah. <laughs> and let's see, what else? Um... Oh, oh, oh. Uh, yes, 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 yes. I, I would really like uh, front row seats to the shows. I, I think that would... Every now and then I watch, but I'm always sweeping in the back, you know. Oh, yes. That is a good point. We deserve, when we get our ten-minute break, we should be able to meander right up to the stage and enjoy Sean Spader or, or, or whoever, right? Without being bothered. Oh, that'd be... Sick. Right, and we shouldn't just... Just because we're hard workers doesn't mean we should work all the time. There should be those kind of benefits, I think. Mmm, <laughs> good. Good thought. And yes, we deserve the right. We deserve the right to protest unsafe conditions in the under, don't we? We don't want to have the MC mask put on our faces and we're mind controlled. There should be no punishment for raising our voices against the injustice of the under. We need to feel safe, safe to express ourselves. Because the healthier the wor we work, the better we'll work. Isn't that right? Here, here. Good. Oh, wonderful. Oh, thank you. I really wanted to get all your opinions on this. I, I will continue to develop the, the list. Did you have anything else, Jess, or is that good? I, I have one more. We don't oh. need it, but uh, it would be fun to get a discount at the gift shop. That is true. Yes, I would. I, I agree. I, need, I would very See, much like an... It. You know how much those, those dolls from the time boat cost? They're my favorite. I watch them like it's so proper. Yes, the fates are in danger, but if I could have an Adela doll, oh, to put on my nightstand, and it didn't cost my left knee bone, I would. <laughs> but no. Good, that's a wonderful suggestion. Does this all seem reasonable? Do you think this is unreasonable demands for the MC? No, not at all. All right. Good. <sighs> that's... Gavel that portion. We've talked about demands. Right. Gavel, gavel. Sorry, <laughs> oh, right Teddy. Up. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to bonk your head, darling. Now, for the future of the Union, we need to talk about something, um, rather personal to the niece. Yes. You know Russell, right? I've talked to you all about him. Uh, but what you don't know is that we have a bit of a past. Um, but the sand we wears away more than just skin in the under. <laughs> it seems to have worn away his memory. And he just seems to follow the MC about and do all his work, and he feels fulfilled. He's the type of man who loves a good job and does his job at the end of the day and has a beer, and that's what he calls a good life. But what he doesn't remember, and the MC has said this himself, in the under, you do need to keep a piece of yourself. For yourself. 
so I've been keeping that piece secret. But I know if we get Russell to speak to the MC, soften his heart, bring back his memories, perhaps, perhaps he will be able to set up a meeting, and then we'll have things to do. So, Are I have a mission for you. saying that you and Russell have history together? Yes, Jester. That is exactly oh, what I'm right. saying. I, I don't want to go any more detail right now, hopefully. I, oh, I won't ask, yeah. No, great. That's great. Mm. That's great. Ugh. So, what I need you to do, as sweepers, when you next see Russell, there are three items I think that might inspire his memory to remember me as as we were. <laughs> Those, unfortunately, I only know two of the items. The third you will have to figure out yourself. The first two, which I think, depending on how you use these items in combination, in a play act, in, in some way you're communicating, it will jog his memory. You need binoculars and a fish. Sounds odd, right? Good <laughs> <laughs> Russell used to work on this brand old fishing boat with a bunch of burly men just like him, and they sang shit, sea shanties, and talked about the tide going in and out and what not, what he does. You think you can do that for me? We can figure this out together. Yes. Because if we get Russell, we really have a fighting chance. Oh, good, good, darlings. <laughs> um, it's so nice to let my hair down with you all. <laughs> It really is. <laughs> I, 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 well, I mean, I, I guess I let it down quite a bit ago. I had collected it in a bag. I thought I could make it into a wig or something, but then a crawl ran off with the bag. So if you happen to find a bag of hair with Benice's, yeah, I would appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Um, is there anything else we should... Oh. Well, does anyone know what is going on with Vicky right now? You do! Be wait, who's Vicky? You haven't met Vicky, Jessica. No, I haven't met her yet. I've really? been very diligent in my sweeping duties. Yes, you have, and we love you. No, but... It seems that, um... Vicky will do practically anything. What? Wet food and salt. She's being assaulted! <laughs> She's being... I'm not getting it. Are you getting it? Can you help them out? She's being assaulted. Oh, crop! The well, crops? She's afraid of crops, I know. Does she get much. eaten too? Oh, really? No. Oh, okay. No. Hmm. Well, I, she, I, I initiated her into the union. I did. And I thought, this will be great. We'll all, we'll all be friends. But then, wouldn't you know, she went and told the MC all about it. And I don't know if he took it very seriously, because I'm still here. <laughs> but it seems she's decided to throw the union under the bus in order to gain back the favor of the MC so she can get her stage show. Wait, is I that mean... that cat lady with the song? Yes! Wait, she has a song? That's what I heard. Did anyone else hear about the song? You get... what... How does it go? Oh, weird. Wait, are you talking about wet food now? She is that so I thought she was making up another song. She is. Oh, Alright, you sing it for me. Go ahead. Snap along to it. What is it, love? Well, that's just rude. No. Alright. Sounds like anti-union propaganda, doesn't it? Well... I mean, we don't mean her any harm, right? Just because she threw us under the bus, we've got to, we've got to, uh, what, attract flies with honey versus vinegar or whatever that sign is? 
So maybe there's something we can do. I, if she's if she's doing this act, right? This anti-union act. And if there's some sort of symbolism we could do to say that we support her, but also we stand for the union. We stand for community. We stand for love. And we don't mean her any harm at all. So if there's a way to communicate that in the choreography of whatever dance she's performing, maybe mm. we could make a stand that way. What do you think, Jester? Well, all right, so is there any choreography that goes, like any dancing that goes along with this whole thing? You sweep in it, all right, and then what do you do? You raise your boom in the air, I like it so far, okay, and then what? <laughs> and then you throw your broom. All right, how about Rude. this? How about this? Because we all love our brooms. We don't want them to come to any harm. Yeah, no, no, Chester. Yes, I know I was gone for a while. I didn't do it on purpose. Oh, but how about this? How about we support her song? We dance to whatever she wants, but then at the end, you just hug your broom instead. That way you can help her with her song, but you, yeah, you don't have to... You don't have to say no. You can say yes to her, and you can say yes to the union. What do we say? Yes. Doesn't have to be sides, does it? Very smart, Jester. Oh, oh, you've got a you. smart, <laughs> non-existent brain in your head. Oh, you clever... Oh, it's entirely <laughs> gone, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Darlings, do we feel like we have a plan? Yes. Now again, I need you to keep the minutes of this meeting secret and safe. Some of you like to blab around a little bit, but this needs to be secret, understood? Good, all right. <laughs> Can we have a hug? Come, come. Come on, let's have oh, a hug. I promise I bathed since being in that crop. Yep, yep. Oh. Good squeeze. Bring it in, bring it in. Oh, I love you all. Thank you so much for your support and being there and hearing the call of the union. And now we have a plan. Now, I'll probably hold this meeting a couple more times just to make sure we get enough union members in the know. All right. Um, but yes, let's say our most one more time. In salute, start at the bottom here. Hmm. The Sweepers Union. We live to sweep. We sweep to love. We raise our brooms to the stars above. Ah. Oh. Wonderful. I love you all. All right, until we meet again. Come on, Jester. Oh, yes, ma'am. Thanks, guys. See you next time, sweepers. And salt union gang. Oink. <laughs>